You hear what your boy said? Who my boy? Um, in today's <laughs> game, Steph Curry's the one that I want to play with. I'm good right now. Today's feature is not a stunted growth feature. Rather, it's to simply ask a great basketball question that will be asked a thousand times after his career is done. Was LeBron James's career overrated? Of course, LeBron is a great talent, and yes, I'd even go as far as to say he's a great player. The plays he's able to make simply off IQ from his obsessive study of the game alone is levels above any player that's ever played the game. Yes, some may have been more athletic or more clutch, had more heart and big game want for the basketball, but none made plays by thinking the game like LeBron James. As far as natural, God-given talent, that's also a feature of LeBron unseen in the history of basketball. No one was built with his height, mixed with his athleticism, his speed, his IQ, and his favor as the chosen one in the perfect time to bear the torch as the face of the league. Do I think LeBron's growth was stunted? No, I don't. The reason is because no matter what you may think of him, he was still able to, on paper, achieve everything you could ask for with the expectations he had coming into the league and more. But to ask me that is asking a totally different question than was LeBron's career overrated? That's what we'll attempt to figure out today and discuss with real and open-minded opinions in the comments. You should know that my opinion is totally biased because I'm not a LeBron James fan, just as you may be the biggest. Whatever the case, for these reasons, I think LeBron's career was overrated. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Reason number one, the GOAT. Because he's often thought of by some as the GOAT. For me, I could never see LeBron as the GOAT and the biggest reason I'll first give an example form. If you met two people, both have a billion dollars, person A was a trust fund baby, person B grinded from low income beginnings to his billion, same money, different ways they got it. Of course, business is still the same, but is respect? If I have ghost writers and won Grammys versus you who writes all his material, you've also won Grammys, can I still be considered the best rapper? Is Drake the GOAT or is he disqualified from the conversation after his ghost writers were exposed? With as much of an assistance LeBron has had to win his greatest achievements, I don't think it's respectful to say he's somehow the GOAT. That's how I see Dwayne Wade, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, Ray Allen, Chris Bosh that all assisted in his GOAT placement by winning those chips as the front-running favorite, like Ghost Riders. LeBron gets all the credit, but is he Drake? He's going to pass Kareem for most points ever when Kareem didn't come into the league until 22 years old, played the center position, so didn't shoot threes regularly. In fact, the three-point line wasn't implemented until the 79-80 season. Kareem was 32 years old in his 11th season and approaching the final year of his prime before his game started to decline. On paper, down the road, those things won't be factored into a casual LeBron fan's mind, instead be used as a bullet point to why LeBron's the GOAT. Kareem played 10 seasons with the three-point line and has only made a grand total of one three-pointer for his career. Of the NBA 75th anniversary top 75 players of all time, LeBron has played with a total of five players from that list and a few others that easily could have made the list as well. Each time he's won a championship, he's had one on his team, except in 2016 when he won with Kyrie Irving, who for his personal reasons and disfavor within the NBA the past few seasons wasn't selected. We could all agree that if Damian Lillard made it, so should Kyrie. Even though the NBA helped in my opinion in 2016 by eliminating Draymond Green for an important Game 5 of the series that completely turned the series around and helped greatly in LeBron winning a storybook championship in his return to play with another Big 3, it's LeBron's only championship I do respect. 
on paper, no top 75 player, coming back from down 3-1, even though in a big moment to decide the victory, he was nowhere near in position to win it, as Kyrie did that. I think LeBron has put himself in position where you can't crown him the GOAT because individually he never defined himself as that by having a clip in time where he himself stamped a series or has a monumental moment where he showed that. Whereas Michael Jordan, who I do think is the GOAT, had those since his freshman year in college. To me, LeBron is a great player, but where he's criticized is whenever he's mentioned as the GOAT. If he were never in the conversation and simply called a great player or even a top five player ever, I'd agree. But to say he's the greatest of all time, I think Jordan, Kobe, and Magic Johnson have something to say about that. Reason number two, hasn't won enough. Simple math only. Outside the superstar assisted argument, LeBron doesn't have enough championships where he's the best player. In this case, I do count and respect all four of his chips because even with other superstars, LeBron was no question the best on his team. It's why I couldn't say Kobe was the GOAT and why an argument can be made that LeBron had a better career than Kobe, even though Kobe's won more. Three of those were with the most dominant player of all time in Shaquille O'Neal. Magic won five, but was he the best player on his team? Outside 86, 87, and 87, 88, his final two, he wasn't. Then there's Jordan again. All of his was under him not only being the best on his team definitively, or the best player in the NBA, no question, he was the best player of the 90s and even the best of his generation. Six in total to LeBron's four. In 20 years, will we look back and say LeBron was the best of his generation? I can't say that. If Giannis happens to win back-to-back, -back, or even three in Milwaukee, unassisted by top 75 players like LeBron, Kobe, or even Jordan, where does that put him? If Kevin Durant wins another two and ties LeBron, what about that? LeBron has become champion. No matter my opinion on how he won his, I gotta give it to him. But he hasn't won enough to rate him as high as some do. Reason number three, kill mode. The biggest critique I have of LeBron, and I think the one chip in his armor if you rate him as the GOAT, is him not ever having a real kill mode. Sure, we've seen him kill before, and sure, he's hit his share of buzzer beaters. Like his biggest fanboy and blind witness Shannon Sharp always points out, LeBron does have the lead for buzzer beaters in the playoffs. But should we punish Jordan for not allowing his team to ever be in position to have to take a buzzer beater? LeBron should be atop this list, seeing as his finals record is negative two at four and six. Of course, Michael is six and zero oh, and has never played in a game seven in the finals. More than numbers, let Kobe and Melo show you. Or let LeBron's decision to hide from the last shot clearly not want the ball or pass up big shots and you'll see where still much is desired of his game. I think at heart LeBron is a nice guy who's very friendly and outgoing so he loves having people around him and for them to be happy because it's when he can be his best self. LeBron would admit to you he never considered himself to be a great scorer. He was just blessed with size and athleticism in a body never seen in the NBA. It takes a really self-absorbed, confident, calculated, highly competitive person to go in kill mode as consistently as I've seen Jordan and Kobe go into. From card table to late game heroics, you knew Michael and Kobe were coming after you and would have done anything to win. LeBron is too willing to share the moment, or some say too scared to be alone in that moment. Lack of killer instinct is usually looked over when LeBron's rated among best ever, and I think that puts him a notch beneath a few players in history. All in all, I do think LeBron is slightly overrated. It's not his fault, even though he proclaimed himself the GOAT, but his witnesses who have actually been blinded by the high-flying dunks, screams, back breaks, chalk tosses, excuses, league favor, ghost writers, and asterisk championships who scream so loud that LeBron is the GOAT instead of just saying he's their favorite and a top 5 to 10 greatest ever. But to say he's the greatest of all time is blasphemy. 
Sadly, LeBron is not the GOAT and has been disqualified a long time ago. Great talent and had he used that to win more respectable chips? Not give in to building a super team league in order to win, ring chasing and making so many excuses he could have been better. Based on everyone acting like those things don't matter, I have to say LeBron James has had an overrated career. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth, I'm out.